Okay, here's a real Don Reno classic for you called Emotions. And Don recorded this several times in his career. And uh, the two versions that I played there was his original break from 1956 with Red Smiley. And uh, the second part was a break from 1971 from the album Together Again with Reno, Smiley, and Harold. So the reason why I wanted to play these two breaks and show you this is to kind of demonstrate the changes that Don uh, made in his playing, how it's kind of evolved from 1956 to 1971, um, kind of some pattern changes and different techniques that he had uh, kind of evolved into and, and started using. Um, so let's get into the first break here that Don did. And uh, first of all, we'll go over the chords um, because it's a really pretty chord progression. Um, if you're not familiar with the tune, like I said, we'll go over these chords. Um, it's a C. <laughs> Go to an E, to an F, and back to a C, F, to a G, and to a C. And then we're going to walk down to a G again. Okay? And that's pretty much it. That's, that's the chords to it. So C, E, F, C, F, G, C, and back to G. So, the way he's starting this is out of your F position C. And what you want to do on this original first break that he did, Don moves really close to the neck. He wants a real soft, uh, pretty tone for this, this break that he's doing. So you want to move close to the neck. Now the big difference in uh, the way Don did this uh, on the 56 version versus the 71 version is instead of brushing with his thumb, the double stops that we're going to do, he's actually pinching the double stops for a softer sound. Um, he kind of moved away from the pinching um, in later years. He would typically just use his brushing uh, with the thumb. Um, early In the early days, he would do a lot of the double stops with the pinching. So it's a big difference between the two here. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to start here on your fourth and third string out of your F position C. So Alright, we're going to pinch that, and then we're going to just keep our fingers like we have them there, and we're going to move back um, and keep those down on your third and second string. Alright, and then we're going to mash that. Alright, we're keeping our fingers in those same shapes there, that, sh that same double stop shape. So, we've done a lot of this stuff in the other videos, so... And before we go any further, another thing is pay really close attention to Don's phrasing on these tunes, um, any of these slow tunes that he did, really. Um, he's putting a lot of feeling in there, and he's, he's hitting notes softer or harder, or he's lingering on certain notes, let them ring out, or clips them off sooner to get uh, the feeling across that he's trying to put in there. Don was a master at it. I mean, he, he could put feeling in in a tune like nobody's business. I mean, <laughs> he was the best I've ever seen at it. Um, it was really like the banjo became a, an extension of him. It didn't sound like an instrument playing. It was it was his emotions coming out. Well, <laughs> it's a good song to put this in, his emotions and emotions. So um, pay attention to the, his phrasing and uh, the feeling that he gets and try to duplicate it as close as you can. Um, it'd be impossible, to, it's impossible to duplicate it, but uh, you know, we want to get that feeling in there. Um, so, when we start out here, all right, that pausing there, see how we're hitting the first double stop, or the second to the last double stop, so we clip that off, and then we hit it again and we leave it, we let it ring, all right, so... Okay. Now, I play it a little bit differently, um, which I think he actually did this on the original. I have to listen to it closely again, but uh, you could do it like the way I just showed you, where you use the same double stop all the way up to the C again, or the second to last double stop that I was just talking about that you release quicker. I like to pinch the fourth and second string, and then the third and second string. So. It's just a little 
little difference there that I like to do better. Um, I'm sure Don played it a bunch of different ways, but... Alright, that's the way I was doing it in the video. Or... Same double stop there. However you want to do it. Now, uh, this is a little different than what he would normally do. I think he would normally would come up here on your uh, fifth fret on the second or the third and second strings and just do his typical walk up that he would do. Okay. But I believe he's coming up here on the fourth and third strings to do the same notes. It's the same notes, just a different place. To get a softer, more hollow, mellow sound, uh, to get a little more of that pretty uh, soft sound in there. So, but you could certainly do it here if you wanted to. It doesn't matter um, if you prefer that. Same thing. All right. So we're on our C. We've got that first part. Then we're going to move to your E chord, and we're going to be playing out of this barred E like we've done many times on the ninth fret. All right. Um, we're gonna just do a regular walk up like he normally does. Okay. We've done that a bunch of times too. All right, just one, two, three. Walking up to that E. We're gonna start on the third and second fret, or the third and second string rather, on the ninth fret. We're gonna walk that up and then we're going to the second and first strings and do double stops. This is all double stops, the whole thing. So, all right. So now we've ended up back on the third and second strings on the ninth fret, you're in, still in E. So, remember, pay attention to the, the, the way he's pausing on certain notes. Let that ring. And then we're gonna hit that again twice and then we're going to hit it again and we're going into F so all right so we're moving that up to F all right now we're playing out of a barred F position on the 10th fret and we're going to do a similar walk up here but we're going to skip the one two three walk up to the 10th fret that we did on the E. On the E we went, all right. This one we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do uh, 11th fret or 10th fret, and then we're gonna do 8th fret, and then 10th fret. So we're skipping that 9th fret on the second and first strings double stops there. So, okay. Let me play it up to that point to, to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So we walk up to that 10th fret on your 2nd and 1st strings, all right, and then we're going to grab this partial B flat, this is your D position B flat, we're just doing this 1st and 2nd strings out of that B flat. All double stops, we're all, we're pinching all of this, not brushing it. Now you could brush it if you wanted to, it just depends on how the sound you want, but on this original he's pinching it. So. We're gonna grab that B flat and then back to your F position or your barred F position on the 10th fret. And then we're gonna walk that down one, two, three. All right. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna come up to the 10th fret on your third and second strings. And then we're gonna hammer on this partial C chord. We're going back to C here. So this is a typical thing that he did. We did this in I Know You're Married and a bunch of other tunes. It's the same thing as uh, just a rock and roll type lick there. So uh, let me play that up to that point. So Okay. 
From here, we're going to hit that same uh, third and fourth string, or fourth and third string, however you want to say it, out of that C position twice. So we're hitting that twice. All right, I'm hitting the third or the second and first string. It's going to be your F. So that's what we're doing there. So, all right, you're going to lay your finger flat across the F. We're going back to F at this point. So those two double stops, and then we're going to come back here and do the same double stops we did in the beginning, but we're going to leave out this middle one the one, two, three up to that. I hope that makes sense, but. All right. Okay. So let me play that so it makes sense to you because it, sometimes it doesn't make sense to me while I'm explaining it, but uh, sometimes it's better for me to just show you in context. So play the whole thing up to there. So when I get back to the original C position, I'm actually grabbing that third and second string on your F chord. All right, lay my finger flat. All right, third and second string, and then grabbing the second and first string. So I'm laying my finger across all three strings. All right, then we're gonna lay our finger, middle finger back one fret. All right, so now we're on the 10th fret, or actually the 9th fret, 9th to 10 and 11th to 12th. We're going to walk up to this uh, bar G. So, okay, just lay your fingers flat and pinch the 3rd and 2nd strings from the 9th to the 12th. So. to the tenth fret. Okay. So when we walked up to the twelfth uh, fret, we're in G now. So, and then we're going to walk it back down to basically a G seventh. But we're going to play a full F uh, chord, you know, to take place of the G seventh. All right. So. Here's another place to pay particular attention to how Don's phrasing things and softening up uh, to get uh, a you know feeling into it. So, you lighten up on some of those notes, however you want to put it, how much, however the feeling you want to put in there. So, let that ring. So basically, we're walking down to a G7, and then we're going to do uh, these pinches here on, this is a, I guess it's like a B, a D shaped B flat, and we're going to walk that up. This is, we're using the third and first strings, and we're going to walk that up to your C. All right, and we're still in G, but we're using these passing uh, double stops. Stuff like that. That's all G, but we're using these partial chords, you know, of other chords. They just harmonize with the G chord. So, all right, so we're doing that. We're just pinching that uh, position there that you see. All right. And the only reason I'm telling you the chord position that I'm using, because you could easily just, you know, look at that and just walk it up and not think about it. 
but I want you to know what the passing chord is that I'm hitting. So, um, cause you could do full chord position, full three chord. Stuff like that. You always want to know where you're at, you know, and not just play notes that you don't know what those double stops are. You want to know what those positions are and what that position is out of, what chord that's out of. So um, I like to probably over explain things more than I need to, but um, I think it's good that you know where you're at at all times. Because um, if you get in a bind, you can always hit stuff or double stops to get you out of there. Um, but anyway, so we walk that up. <laughs> And we're going to go back to C and we're going to pinch the uh, third and first strings in your C chord. All right. So let me play that whole thing. last little lick there was actually on the original recording. Uh, the way I did it in the intro, I did a walk down back to G. All right, we've covered that a bunch of times in a bunch of videos, but um, let me show you this little lick here that he does do on the original because he doesn't walk back down to G. It stays in C at the end of his break. So, Very typical little lick Don would do. Okay? All I'm doing is just doing these pinches right out of your C chord. End up on your fourth string. Okay? Get to your C. All right, but the way I did it in the intro, the only reason I did it like that was so that we, I could tie the two breaks together. So uh, in the 71 version on the Together Again album, it would go back to G. So we're just walking back down to a G chord using a minor, an E minor walk down to a D minor, which he does a lot. Same thing as... All right, all that is is your E minor. And I'm going to brush all of that uh, with, the, with the thumb here. It's kind of neat because what I'm doing there is I'm actually transitioning from his old kind of playing to his, you know, his later kind of playing because I did all pinches, no double stop brushing with the thumb, but all pinches in that first break. But then I'm moving into his later playing by doing that bridge or that, that brush work there. So... Now you could pinch that if you want to. It wouldn't. It, it would be perfectly okay if you did that. So, all right. Okay. So now we're going to transition into that second break from 1971, and uh, this break is going to be mostly done with the thumb. We're going to be brushing most of the double stops with the thumb and muting the bridge slightly with the palm of our hand back here. Um, as usual, and we're going to start out here with your regular C chord. All right, and we're going to brush the third and second strings right out of that C chord. All right, and then we're going to walk that up on the second and first strings all the way up to the fifth fret. So, okay. So when I'm walking that up, I'm, when I hit the 4th fret, I'm pausing and then hitting it again and sliding into the 5th fret. So, and then hitting it lightly at the end um, on the 5th fret. So just brushing that at the end real light. And that's part of putting the feeling and the uh, emotions into this tune. Um, in your playing, so pay attention to the original just like the first break. Pay attention to the way Don hits things. It's not just a matter of getting the notes correct. It's a, it's a matter of getting the notes 
correctly the way he's playing it, like the, the, the amount of pressure he's putting on it, how hard he's playing it. Um, you want to try to duplicate that feeling in there as much as possible. So. Move up to your E, same barred position E we used in the first break, and we're going to start out on the second and first strings this time on your ninth fret. We're going to walk back on those on the second and first strings. All right, doing double stops, mash your fingers flat across the strings, the two strings, and back to the ninth fret on your third and second string. All right. Now we're on the third and second strings. We're going to mash down the um, eighth fret on your third and second strings. Still doing those double stops, mashing your fingers flat across. Okay, and then back to your ninth fret. So it sounds like this. All right. So he's doing that twice. Again, pay attention to his timing on it because it is a, a strange timing. It's not straight timing. So, um, all right. So, when we end up on that final E on your ninth fret, we're going to move up to your F. So, we're changing from E to F in the chord progression. And we're going to play right out of this barred F, just like we did the first time. And this time we're going to walk this up. It's very similar to the first break. But this time we're going to walk one, two, three up to the F chord. Whereas the first time we, we skipped this uh, ninth fret walk up. All right, remember that? But this time we're going to grab that. We're going to walk this up as he typically would. All right. Okay, so and then we're going to brush the strings open. And then we're going to grab that partial B that we did before or B flat. Right out of your uh, B flat D shape. Same one we did in the first break. Okay. And then we're going to walk that back down. Okay. And then we're going to finish it off. We're going to walk, we're coming back into your C chord. So we're going to walk into the C. Same little walk down we did right here. We're going to do it here on the fifth fret and then end up on the third and second strings on your fifth fret. End on that C chord. All right. So let me play all of that for you. Um, Like I said, the timing's tricky on that, so play with the original and, and get it timed out right. Um, so we ended up on that C. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to be transitioning from the C to the F. So we're going to brush that double stop again. All right. We're just walking that down to the third fret. So we're it's basically an, a C seventh, but we're playing a full. B flat um, on the third and second string. So, all right, all double stops. All right, now we're going into the F. All right, so now we're in your F chord, and we're just going to brush that F chord. Um, on your third and second strings, holding it down, but we're going to grab this note here on your third string, or your yeah, third string on the third fret. All right, it's all out of your F position. All right, I'm just brushing that. That's all brush. This whole thing is brush work. So. And then we, you can actually brush this or hit it single string. 
uh, or just hit one string is what I'm saying. And Don hit one string, but you could brush this part if you wanted to. So, what I'm doing there is I'm walking down from the third fret to the second to the first. We're still in F, but what I'm doing is I'm walking into your G chord. Alright, now you could brush that if you wanted to. Or you can hit it uh, note by note on the second string. That's what he did on the original, I believe. So, let me play that whole thing up to that point. walk down we're gonna slide into your G chord here it's the same shape as your F chord so we're sliding into your third and second strings we're doing the same thing we did in the F we're gonna do it in the G so we're sliding into it all right I think that makes sense Think about what I'm doing here. <laughs> right, okay. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember where I'm at without playing the whole thing, so um, I'm kind of learning this with you as usual. It's been a long time since I've dissected this. I usually just go on and play all kinds of things, whatever comes to my mind at the time, and um, I usually don't stick to exactly the way Don did it on the records anymore, but... Um, that's why making these videos is very good practice for me, actually. It, uh, I'll go back and, and work on one of these videos to try to figure things out a lot of times, and I'll hear something that I didn't do before. Um, and Don is like that. I can go back and listen to records and hear something I've, you know, I thought I've heard this song a million times, and I'll hear one little thing that I didn't hear before. So um, this keeps me in shape and gives me something to do anyway. So um, anyway, so when I come into that G... We're ending up on the second and first strings. We're brushing that, that double stop. Then I'm going to grab this partial F. It's your D-shaped F. All right. On your second and first strings. So. All right. Then we're going to do that same kind of walk down we did before, uh, right before the F. Walk that to your C. Okay, so all right. again, the timing is key there. All right. all right, and that's pretty much the whole second break. Um, and then we're going to end it on that same little walk down. Now this is the way he did it on the Together Again album. He did this little walk down. Back to your C. All right. And what that is, he's doing that a little bit differently there. He's not brushing the full three chord walk down that we did uh, during the first part of the break. He's really brushing the second or the third and second strings and then the second and first strings to give it a little different You can do it however you want to do it. It really doesn't matter. So I just wanted to show you, you know, it's a little bit of a difference there. All right, so we do that typical walk down. Then we're going to come here and grab this double stop on your C chord. Then this double stop, your partial G, partial F, and then your G open. Then a quick uh, D or a G seventh on the fourth and third strings to your C. All right. So that would sound like, whoops. All right. Let me play that whole second um, break for you.
<laughs> All right. So there's the two breaks uh, that we played there. And like I said, you don't have to stick to just the way I showed you. Um, you can uh, do whatever you want to on this. A lot of the backup stuff that he did in there, things like that, you can add into, create your own breaks. Um, and that's kind of the goal that I have with these videos is that I want you to be able to take what Don did and create, you know, create your own breaks and your own instrumentals. And um, I don't think Don would want you to play it exactly like he did it. And neither did I. You know, neither would I. I want you to be able to create with the things I'm showing you. So um, those are the two breaks there that uh, Don did. And like I said, there's many more. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or a message and, uh, or on Facebook. And I'll try to help you the best I can.